Welcome to 5 Minute School. This video we're going to be talking about how bile pigments are formed and we're going to be talking about how they are excreted. The two main bile pigments which are in the body which circulate are biliverdin and bilirubin. Bilirubin is the major bile pigment in humans. So firstly, these bile pigments are made during the breakdown of old red blood cells, specifically hemoglobin of the red blood cells. So in the reticuloendothelial system, these old red blood cells are broken down and hemoglobin is released. The hemoglobin is then broken down into heme and globin protein. Heme is broken down into iron and the pigment biliverdin. This pigment biliverdin is then reduced into bilirubin. The bilirubin is then released into the bloodstream from the reticuloendothelial cells. This bilirubin circulating the bloodstream is known as free bilirubin or unconjugated bilirubin. It's then taken up into the liver and joined with glucuronic acid to form conjugated bilirubin. The conjugated bilirubin is then secreted into the intestines with a mixture called bile. But since it's now in the intestines, what happens to this conjugated bilirubin? In the intestines, around half of it is converted into urobilinogen by the intestinal bacteria. The remaining half of the conjugated bilirubin is returned back to the liver via the enterohepatic circulation, and that's so it can be re-excreted into bile. The urobilinogen also enters back into the liver via the enterohepatic circulation. It's then re-excreted into bile, but around 5% is lost through urine. The urobilinogen gets oxidized into urobilin when the urine is exposed to air. And some of the urobilinogen is also excreted via the feces as stercobilinogen.